In sports, now the El Gayo Maraquet County Development and Implementation Coordination Committee has recommended the immediate termination of the contract for the rehabilitation of Camarine Stadium. The committee, chaired by the county commissioner, Dr. Ahmed Omar, said they were dissatisfied with the slow progress of the rehabilitation works by Funan contractors. We are really baffled by the slow progress being made by Funan Construction that is in charge of the contract at Camarine Stadium. We are not at all happy based on our progress uh, evaluation after every one month or two. And based on visits by CAS from Nairobi Sports, Minister of Sports, and based on the promise given by Funan Construction, we are convinced that this project, the contractor, has to be terminated, the contract has to be net, terminated immediately. And another contractor who is willing and who is able to continue with the work. The county commissioner said though the stadium was supposed to be completed and handed over to the government by September, only 30% of the works have been done and the 70% remaining cannot be completed within one month. The contractor has failed to proceed on the work regularly and diligently as required by the contract document. I think the last time he was on site, we don't even know. He has not been on site for a long time. The last time uh, his agent was with Kas Hassan Nur is that he promised that by September, the project will be complete. Yet we know, even today, it is only 30% complete. The remaining works are so massive, 70%, will not be completed in a month's time. So that convinced us that he's not capable, he doesn't have the capacity to do this work. Camarini Stadium, which started in 2016, is one of the county flagship projects in a county that takes pride in producing star athletes who have brought honor to the country. The lack of a stadium has left especially young upcoming athletes with no place to train after the rehabilitation work stalled in 2017 due to non-payment. The works started in June this year after the government released part of the payment with a promise that they would be completed within four months. Frederick Muki for Channel One Sports. Now, internationally, Arsenal captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has signed a new three-year deal with the club. The 31-year-old striker joined the Gunners in January 2018 and won the English Premier League Golden Boot in his first full season in 2018-2019. Aubameyang's contract was due to expire at the end of the 2020-21 season, meaning he would have been free to talk to other clubs from January. The Gabon striker scored in Arsenal's victory at Fulham on Saturday, the first game of the new Premier League season. He also scored two goals against Chelsea in the FA Cup final in July, securing the Gunners' place in next season's Europa League. Since joining Arsenal, Aubameyang has scored 72 goals in 111 appearances in all competitions. In 86 Premier League appearances, he has scored 55 goals and made 12 assists. Now, Bournemouth beat Crystal Palace 11-10 in an amazing Carabao Cup shootout after a goalless draw to set up a third round tie with Manchester City. After all 20 outfield players scored, Wayne Hennessy saved Bournemouth keeper Azmir Begovic's um, spot kick, but then blazed his own over the bar. David Brooks scored his second kick of the shootout, and Begovic saved Luka Mili Milivok. Devich's um, effort to send the championship side through following the win. The side will now face holders Manchester City next week. In other results, West Ham hammered Charlton 3-0, while Newcastle claimed a 1-0 win over Blackburn. Aston Villa thrashed Barton 3-1 as Watford won 3-0 against Oxford United.